What is up guys? It's Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today we have the Kickstarter watch unboxing of a manufacturer walled off Trebillion model, one of their most recent Kickstarter campaigns that I participated in. Now the watch of the day is of course the manufacturer walled off Multimatic something that uh, I absolutely fell in love with the moment I saw it on Kickstarter and had to back. And it's incidentally the watch that introduced me to this watch company, this micro brand watch company to start with. And since then, I've been absolutely in love with this company, absolutely in love with their products, in love with their watches. And I cannot say enough good things about this company, especially the customer service aspect of it. But guys, today we're actually gonna be unboxing the manufacturer walled off Trebillion model that was on their Kickstarter campaign. Now, full confession, I recently just got this watch and it was extremely late based on when everybody else got their watches. But guys, this was no fault of manufacturer walled offs. This one's 1000% my fault. So as we go through the Kickstarter campaign towards the end of the video, guys, I'll give you a little bit of hint, something you guys need to be cognizant of yourself if you are a Kickstarter backer so you don't F up like I did with this Turbillion campaign. Anyway, guys, one last thing, you're gonna see me as I do this unboxing, kind of gloss over something that is in this box with this uh, manufacturer walled off. I have something special that nobody else in this world has and I'm super, super excited to have picked it up. Guys, you're gonna have to wait around to be able to see that because we're not gonna actually show that to you in this video. You guys are gonna have to subscribe if you haven't already down there in the right hand corner of that screen hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so that when I actually do take a look at the surprise that's in this box, you guys will be notified along the way. Anyway, guys, let's get situated. Let's tear into this Kickstarter watch from Manufacturer Walled Off Watches. All right, so let's tear into this new Manufacturer Walled Off watches to bullion now this will be the first bullion i've had in my collection so i'm really really excited to see this love their packing i love these inflatable air bladders this guys is the one of a kind in the world watch that i'm gonna come back to review that one because uh that one's something special. Open this guy up. Now, one thing that I think was interesting, their Kickstarter campaigns, they include some really nice materials with it um, to give you that uh, luxury brand feel. I mean, that's some really nice bags that they had manufactured. The fit and finish of it is great. But let's open this guy up. You see the manufacturer walled off logo right there on the outer sleeve of this watch box. We open this guy up and you see the manufacturer walled off stainless steel nameplate right there. And there is the watch that I received guys. Let me break into this and see what we got along with this. Of course, guys, you know me. I've got to have that stainless steel bracelet. I'm a huge, huge fan of stainless steel bracelets versus leather. You guys can see right there, I've got the stainless steel on my Multimatic. So I had to upgrade for the extra 45 pounds or whatever it was for that. I also went with an extra blue leather strap because I think it would look pretty sharp with the quick deployant clasp, of course. See what else we have in here. Open this guy up. And I can already tell you guys, I'm gonna love this watch because it is hefty. It's got some weight to it. Guys, let me get this plastic off of this Turbillion and uh, we will definitely take a closer look. So as we zoom in on this manufacturer walled off Turbillion, now I've never actually had a movement like this in my collection because most of the watches up until relatively recently, 
If you wanted a movement like this, you're paying tens of thousands of dollars to have this type of movement uh, in your collection just because of the intricacy it takes to manufacture this movement. Now, if you're not familiar with the purpose of this movement, back in the day, the Tribillion design was to counteraffect the acts of gravity on a watch and its ability to keep time. In this day and age, as the timekeeping methods have improved and as parts in a watch have improved, that's become less of an issue and it's become more of a uh, complication that people just really enjoy watching. And you can see the movement in that guy right there and you can kind of understand why. If you're curious, this watch uses the same case, I believe, as the Multimatica that I'm wearing. So this guy actually has a 13.8 millimeter case thickness uh, with that kind of louvered side right there. And then, of course, Manufacturer Waldorf does not disappoint with that almost scalloped approach to their multi-layer dial. Now, they use a hydraulic compression when they're manufacturing this dial design with that stainless steel chapter ring and stainless steel indices on this dial, I think is really, really, really sharp. Now, the hands on this watch are all diamond cut and covered with a Tri-Tech Swiss Superloom pigment. So I'm going to be interested to see how this guy looks in low light. Quite honestly, though, even if it doesn't look all that great in low light, I don't care. This thing looks amazing uh, in daylight. So I cannot wait to get this watch on my wrist. Total weight of this watch is 105 grams. So this is this is a pretty hefty watch and a lot has to do with that case thickness uh, as well as the movement that's inside this guy. The straps on this, um, the straps on this are 22 millimeters leather strap. You can see they've got the Manufactor Waldorf logo imprinted on the back. I think I'm going to like these straps a little bit better when they're broken in. Um, again, guys, I'm not really a huge strap guy. I'm much more of a bracelet guy. But one thing I do love about Manufacturer Waldorf is these quick deploying clasps. It looks like they're using a new design to their quick deploying clasp. Um, it's a little bit interesting. Like, I had to take a second look at it when I first did it. But feels really really well built it doesn't feel chintzy even though it does appear dainty i mean it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like i'm going to break it at all the the stainless steel that's used in it feels nice and thick and juicy <laughs> juicy freudian slip beefy um but of course we've got the manufacturer waldorf logo right there in that quick deploying clasp now if we look at the back of this watch you see an awesome view of that Peacock 5212 flying wing coaxial turbulent movement. Now, this is a, um, a relatively mass produced turbulent movement, and that's what's given the ability for manufacturer Waldorf and a couple other watch companies uh, to use these types of movements in their watches and keep them under $1,000, or keep them under $10,000 that uh, you would typically see uh this type of movement in you can also see on the back of this case you see um the name of the watch on the back as well as five atm um, that is going to be the water resistance on this guy now this movement incidentally is operating at a beat frequency of twenty one thousand beats per hour it has 29 joules and yes i do have this watch upside down what is wrong with me this guy also has a 40-hour power reserve, and right there at that 9 o'clock position, that is the power reserve indicator with the 12-hour, 24-hour uh, time indicator at the 3 o'clock position, and then, of course, that turbulent, uh opening, almost that skeleton opening right there at that 6 o'clock position. I can't wait to see some of the time lapse of this, and I'm going to try and do some macro shots of this uh, watch because that movement is absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to set this down for just a second. We're going to set that right there. And I'm going to take off this Multimatic. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to. I've got the other Multimatic uh, that 
I have in my collection, so I don't even have to take the one off. We're going to stand them side by side for just a second because what you'll see here is the case design on both of these is extremely similar. The case design, the dial design is extremely similar. They've stuck with what works for them, what has a really sharp uh, look to it. You can see um, my Multimatic, this guy right here, has that Miyota 9100 automatic movement in it, so you get a little different uh, set of complications with it. But the overall aesthetic and appearance of this dial, you can see they did some differences with the lettering at that 12 o'clock position. I think the newer uh, newer style gives it a little bit cleaner of a look. The, the lettering's not so small, it's a little bit more visible. Um, hands, I really, really love those edgy, sharp, sharp, sharp hands, both uh, at the minute and the hour hands. And then of course, on the Multimatica, they've, or Multimatic, they've got their, um, their walled off logo uh, right there at the end of that second hand. But guys, let's take a minute. Uh, let me get wrapped up here. We're going to take a minute. We're going to actually jump over to the Kickstarter campaign and take a look and see what I paid for this guy. So if we jump over to this Kickstarter campaign real quick, you'll notice this guy was one of the first watches with this movement that hit the market, especially on Kickstarter. Um, about partway through this campaign, another company that I won't mention uh, jumped in on that Turbillion movement um, campaign uh, and came up with their own watch design. I will point out, uh, Nicholas and Manfred over at Manufacturer Waldorf Watches were the ones that hit the market first uh, using this movement with their Kickstarter campaign. And as we scroll down here, you can take a look and see what I actually spent for it. This Ultramatic versus the Multimatic that I had before, this Ultramatic uh, came in at roughly $794 in US is what I paid for this guy. Now, yes, that's a lot of money, especially if um, especially if you don't have that kind of disposable income or the, the income that's gonna allow you to just pull the trigger on something like this. But the way I looked at it is never any other time unless I hit the lottery, am I gonna have the chance to jump in on something with that true bullion movement um, and have a watch that's this sexy and especially something at this price. I'm really, really stoked about it. You guys, one thing I'm going to pause right here and point out, you see right here, there's an estimated delivery of December, 2018. While in true form, manufacturer Waldorf hit their delivery estimates. Um, and they might've been, you know, they might've been right around Christmas time when they were shipping, uh, these watches, but guys, I didn't even think anything of it. The campaign came and went. I got busy with the holidays, busy with life in general. And I said to myself, wait a minute, I don't remember getting this watch. Periodically, I'll go back to my Kickstarter app and I will check um, just to see when watches were supposed to ship, see when the updates from the manufacturer, um, what their most recent updates were and stuff like that. I'm seeing all these people talking about how they received their um they're ultramatic already and these people are loving it. They're posting pictures of it on social media. And I'm like, guys, what the hell? I still haven't gotten mine. Why haven't I gotten mine? Well, you know what? I reached out to Nicholas. I was like, Nicholas, I, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to do this, but, um, I never received my, my Kickstarter watch, you know, what's going on. And he was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I, you know, he obviously in a true micro brand owner fashion, wanted to t get me taken care of and get me um, get me all set. For whatever reason, my watch didn't ship. After the fact, after I got my watch, it dawned on me that I don't think I ever completed the survey that went out for this Kickstarter campaign. If you guys are unfamiliar with Kickstarter campaigns, what happens is they go through the crowdfunding process and then once a watch has been, or any product for that matter on, on Kickstarter, once it's been successfully funded, the manufacturer will send out a survey to identify, you know, final things like your shipping address and what specific model you want, what color combination you want, if there's any sizing differences, 
just all the various options that are offered in a Kickstarter campaign, this is the time. It's almost like placing an order for the specific watch. Well, it dawned on me that I don't think I ever sent mine in. So when I say this watch was delayed, in getting to me, I got this watch towards the end of January, beginning of February timeframe. This delay was 1000% my fault, not manufacturer Waldoff's fault at all. Um, so the only reason I raise this and I'm making such a big point about this aspect of it is guys, if you back a lot of Kickstarter campaigns like I do, definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you keep track of each campaign, make sure you're on point with filling out your surveys so that the manufacturers can get that product out to you. Um, because in this instance, I, I completely messed up, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, this campaign actually had 307 backers. The goal for this campaign was only 12,000 uh, francs, and this guy raised 226,000 francs. Um, we scroll down here, we see, of course, all manufacturer Waldorf watches are manufactured right in Germany. You can see some of the um, some of the interesting information about it. Of course, they have the Osby and Black Ultramatic, similar to the Multimatic that I have. Um, they've got the white. This is actually the version uh, that I received right here. They also had a really, really sharp blue dial. Now, you guys did see that I did order the extra blue leather strap um, just because I wanted to be able to change it up. I think that blue strap looks pretty sharp, and uh, I think it'll look pretty sharp against the white, uh, white dial design as well. So I did go ahead and order an extra one of those. And then, of course, I ordered the stainless steel bracelet as well. The stainless steel bracelet, I think, was like an extra 45 francs, something like that. That's I think it was like around 50 bucks uh, U.S., give or take. But you see all the different color combinations they had. They had the Osby and Black. Um, they've got $45 to your pledge. Yep. So they had the Osby and Black. They had the, the white... Um, the stretch goal, the back of this guy, the exp expedition case back is actually um, uh, sapphire, uh, sapphire crystal along with the front of this watch is sapphire crystal. So various shots of the watch itself. And then this is another model that they offered. We'll gloss over that um, for the time being. They offered a couple different models. They had this this guy also. Guys, I'm gonna post up a link to their website uh, in the description section below so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, I think uh, they've got a lot of really, really neat designs right now out for their watches. Definitely, 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 if you guys are on social media, um, Nicholas is all over the place on social media. He's a great, great guy to talk to. If you see him on social media um, promoting manufacturer Waldorf, definitely reach out to him. He loves talking watches, loves, 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 loves his company and will take no time at all to uh, prove to you that uh, he has a, a firm belief in what he's doing and what the company manufacturer Waldorf watches is doing for their customers. Anyway, guys, that was the Kickstarter campaign uh, that I received this Turbulion Ultramatic from Waldorf Watches with. All right, guys, so you can see I've already got it on my wrist, this Ultramatic from Manufacturer Waldorf Watches. Manufacturer Waldorf did not disappoint again with this Kickstarter campaign. Loving this watch. Cannot wait to hear the comments that I receive while wearing this watch because a lot of times when I wear a watch to work, people have no idea about watches. And it's it's one of those things that people love to talk about if they see something different. And uh, this is definitely going to be a watch that's going to inspire a lot of conversation in just my everyday life. So I love that I have this in my collection. Guys, if you have any questions about this watch, about this movement, if you have any comments about this watch, definitely post them up in the comments section below. Love to hear what you guys think about this movement, about that Seagull movement. Does it look sharp on the watch? Do you like the looks of the watch in general? I know I do, but that doesn't mean everybody's going to, so I'd love to hear your feedback. Anyway, guys, if you want to see this watch on my wrist, you can follow us at Instagram slash watchaddiction.us. 
and uh, you will definitely be able to see this guy in my watch of the day collection uh, that I have posted right there on Instagram. Anyway, guys, I am out of here. Cannot wait to uh, continue to wear this guy, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.